this video is for the book lovers who love a good juicy challenging mind-opening read hi guys welcome back to my channel and today i've got a book review for you the book that i'd like to recommend for you today is called the alchemist if you haven't already heard of the alchemist then listen i'm putting you on right now okay <laughs> Alright, so The Alchemist is a novel written by Paulo Coelho. He wrote this novel in 1988 and since then there have been over 20 million copies sold worldwide, okay? And you're probably about to be the 21st million. <laughs> All right, so this novel is a very magical, mystical novel with um, spiritual themes that that will definitely open your mind, like I say, and challenge the way that you see the world. Right, so this story is about a young shepherd named Santiago who goes and follows his personal legend or his purpose. All right, so we are introduced to Santiago as he's sleeping in the field of Andalusia um underneath a sycamore tree next to an abandoned church now take note of this because it's going to be very relevant towards the end of the story right so santiago is startled by a dream that he had been having over and over again so in this dream a child has been telling him that he has a treasure that is hidden um at the base of the pyramids of egypt right so santiago being a very intuitive person who loved to read and expand his mind he took it upon himself to go and consult a gypsy a gypsy is a kind of a fortune teller you know those um magical people <laughs> yeah so the fortune teller told him that there is indeed a treasure waiting for him specifically at the base of the pyramids in egypt and he encouraged she encouraged him to go and pursue it so santiago went to go and pursue his treasure so not long after meeting the gypsy he meets a very peculiar king of a far off land who tells santiago about the omens he tells him that the the world has its own language in which it speaks to you and santiago should be very mindful and sensitive to that now this is this had been something that santiago wasn't too not knowledgeable about like he kind of had an idea about what this man was saying because like i'm saying he was a very intelligent well-read intuitive young man so uh the king told santiago about uh the concept of a personal legend which basically meant his purpose or this journey that he was about to undergo it's almost as if he knew that santiago was about to undergo this journey well santiago did tell him eventually but yeah he was telling him about all those beautiful things and gave him two stones namely urim and thummim which would help him interpret the omens as santiago um got on his journey so santiago decided to sell his sheep and set sail to africa to go and pursue this treasure to go and fulfill his personal legend now santiago came across a whole bunch of obstacles when he first got to morocco he got robbed and was forced to find a job however uh, these challenges served as building blocks for santiago's journey um every bad thing um happened with purpose like every tribulation that he went through had like a, a beautiful lesson attached to it you know and um santiago he got to morocco they stole from him so he got a job he stayed in uh the crystal shop where he worked for a while until he got rich from doing that job and then he got onto a caravan that was on the way to the sahara desert which is obviously where he was going so he met an englishman on the caravan who taught him about alchemy right he taught him that alchemy is this thing called the master's work he taught him about the whole concept of it he taught him about things like the philosopher's stone that allowed um alchemist to turn lead into gold he taught him about the elixir of life which was a liquid that was able to cure all diseases so their journey continued deeper into the desert where they were actually um, interrupted by some tribal wars and were forced to stop at an oasis now here um santiago met the beautiful woman by the name of Fatima. 
Hiroshima in which he fell in love with at first sight so obviously he told Fatima about his life story the journey that he was currently on and how he was actually contemplating leaving it all behind for her and Fatima was like no 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 you don't have to do that Fatima actually encouraged Santiago to pursue his legend further and Santiago was a little bit puzzled because this challenged his views on love as well but Fatima taught him that to follow his heart, he must truly follow his heart, if that makes any sense. Okay, let me rephrase that. But Tima taught Santiago that following his heart comes first, essentially. And that if Santiago were to neglect his journey and his personal legend, then he wouldn't have the same kind of love for Fatima anyway, which was a lesson to Santiago to truly follow his heart. And it had shown him that throughout everything that he had been through, following his heart led him to the place that he was in right now. And he was on the right track. All right, so one day, as Santiago was sitting alone at the Oasis, he saw an omen. And this omen came in the form of two hawks fighting in the sky. And then he was like, no, this is a bad sign. And he went to go and alert the tribal chief that um from this omen he was able to conclude that there was going to be a, a, an attack on the oasis surely enough it happened that they were able to defend themselves um the englishman and santiago finally met the alchemist and the alchemist um accompanied santiago to um nearby the the, the pyramids let me say that they got robbed and beaten up there as well and Santiago had to turn into the wind like it was a whole lot I'm not going to give you everything everything because I'm trying to get you guys to go and read the story but in the end Santiago made it to the the pyramids of Egypt and sadly enough no sign of treasure okay um but what he did realize was that his treasure was actually back in Andalusia where he left it all right i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it at that because like i'm saying i'm trying to have you guys go and read the story on your own but let me tell you a few things that i absolutely adore about this novel all right so as you guys have may have already gathered this is not your typical fiction story it is fiction because yeah you understand when you read it it carries a lot of deep and profound life lessons and we all know that what makes a story really good and worthwhile is the lesson that it's able to instill in all of us and um we, we are able, we're also able to gather that the author of the story is also very wise so so wise uh -huh. this novel requires you to read in between the lines right so um i think that this may be a disadvantage to the type of people who just like like an easy quick read no 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 this one needs you to take your time and really read it carefully and intently and slowly not rushing yourself otherwise you're gonna miss it you know um this theme of the personal legend is such a beautiful reminder for you to live your purpose that is one of my favorite lessons from this book pursuing your personal legend is so important there's there's a number of important lessons but this was truly one of my favorites and i just loved reading it in a way that the author decided to write it in this beautiful story and watching this young man's journey and how he relentlessly pursued his legend up until the very very end it was absolutely beautiful to see in this day and age we don't see much of that people get scared and a whole bunch of things coming between the way of them and their dreams okay this story uses simple english however like i said it is written in metaphors and has you know subliminal messages that require you to really infer all right you have to read it carefully for you to fully grasp it um yeah that's pretty much what i'd like to say about the novel it is truly beautiful um i highly recommend it i truly enjoyed it i feel like it definitely helped shift my perspectives on certain things of life and i love it when you know normally you'd read a non-fictious self-help book in order to help you do that but reading a fiction novel that allowed you to do so was really so refreshing and it was so beautifully put 
um, I'd like to close this video off and conclude by saying that my favorite, favorite quote from the book is that whatever you want to achieve, the universe is always conspiring in your favor to be able to achieve it. That is such a I could sit here and talk for days on end about this book, but let me just leave it to you guys. Okay, I'm just going to leave it to you guys to go and grab the book. Tell me in the comment section if you've heard about The Alchemist or not. And from this review, if you feel like you would be interested in reading it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Um, I truly hope you enjoyed listening to me raving about this book that I really, really care about. And I hope you go and get yourself, if it's a physical copy, if it's an e-copy, something. You need to hop on this book right now. Again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.